Good evening everyone and welcome to my video about my APC45 from DMT. Basically the APC family is a series of weapons which are available in a variety of color eyes and configurations. What you can see here specifically is a, a APC in 45 from 2012. They are also available in 9mm, 40 Smith & Wesson, 10 millimeters, and as you can see also here in 45. They also have a series of rifle systems in uh, 556, 223, 300 Blackout, 300 Whisper, or uh, 762 by 51 the APC 308, also in 308. In March 2019, they also released the APC Pro series, which is an improvement to the first generation, which you can see here. They have a non-reciprocating charging handle and a replaceable pistol grip, which is compatible with the AR-15 styles uh, of uh, rifle family. The upper receiver is made from aerospace grade alloy and the lower receiver the pistol grip and also for the 9mm the magazines are made from polymer. The thing is with the 45 the magazines are made out of uh, steel. Okay, They're heavy, robust and which is and also I want to be honest with you quite expensive. This is uh, a magazine for 20 rounds so you can have an idea how it looks like with the firearm. And I also have magazines of the size of 25 rounds, but then it's quite a, a big magazine to, to bring to the shooting club or to the range to shoot it. So I prefer the smaller ones. I'm also waiting since a long time uh, for the short ones. They have 12 rounds magazines, which would be the best one to use at the range because they are so compact. You can just smash it into your range bag and bring it with you. But that's okay. That's what I have for now, for this video. 25 and 20 rounds magazines. This firearm came with the telescopic stock and also the Acro PL1 with 2.5 MOA. The thing that I installed are uh, the jet funnel, which is made of plastic or polymer. I don't know exactly. To be honest, it's, it was very expensive, but it works. Okay. Then uh, I installed the charging handle, which is foldable, and the short cute detach front grip. Quick detach because you can remove it. Just like that. So, maybe a, a little bit more on the firearm itself. There exist two different versions of it officially. The APC 45, this one here, the normal version with the normal length, and also the 45 SD for the integrally suppressed variant of this firearm. On the front, you have a tree lock but it's not the same size or uh, the same definition as uh, you will find on the 9 mm variants of the Trilock. This one is a little bit bigger and uh, it makes sense because you don't want to install uh, a suppressor for 9 mm on the 45. That would end badly. There is one specific thing on this kind of firearms from BNT that I really like and I really dig and I want to show you, which is the hydraulic buffer here in the end of the firearm. So to have a look at it, um, what we need to do is to open the firearm. I will show you how to do that and then we can have a look at it from the inside. I will use this tool for my kids because I don't want to uh, to hurt myself. It's quite difficult to do it on camera, but yeah, it worked. 
So here we have the lower in polymer, the fire selection for safe and semi or safe and fire. On the other side, the same thing for the uh, selection of fire and then you have also the bolt release on this side on top and the magazine slide a uh, magazine release on both sides to be honest with you the magazine release on the 45 are quite heavy to use i needed a couple of i don't know range time with it until i whoops until i learned how you have to press it because it's it requires a little bit of pressure and also on this side you have to be very go deep inside to remove it oh, yeah, i just use my my finger so on the first generation this was a uh, i don't know i don't have a 45 from a second generation but i shoot a gen 2 basically it was an spc 45 yes you had that right spc 45 and on the spc it was much easier to press this button to release the magazine. Okay, it says APC. The serial number for the lower is uh, behind this uh, jet funnel. You can't see it now, but the serial number is here, here in Europe or here in Switzerland. Then for here, you have to push the stock down and then you can remove it. <coughs> so this is all metal, everything here. It's quite heavy and here you have a sort of a rubberized texture onto the metal. And here's the hydraulic buffer. The reason why I firstly bought this weapon and uh, I was so amazed by that back in the time when I bought it. The force when you are shooting the five firing the firearm and the, uh, and the receiver shoots back, it's being dumped here, uh, additional to the recoil spring that you have here. So basically what happens is it's something like that, it will shoot back and then it will be damped even more. You can compare that to a shock absorber on a car. Uh, it really helps you to maintain your shots tight uh, for quick follow-up, if you are into that. I just am happy to have a nice shooting firearm that I can enjoy. I never shoot uh, fast or groups. I only shoot it um, static on 25 or 50 meters distance in the club. So... Uh, remove the charging handle which again this came not with the firearm this is something so I have. after removing the charging handle this excuse me is the first time for me doing that I uh, can remove the bolts or the receiver I don't know exactly how you call that in English and uh, you can see here where the runs are coming here on the top you have the spring that comes here and when shooting or firing back this is press it here inside and then if you move it to the other side you can see the marks here which is caliber 45 ato and the serial number ch for switzerland 2012 and my serial number okay on top there is nothing on the bottom there is that and if we have a look at the upper, then you can see the special thing about this first generation 4045. They integrally installed those iron sides, which are made of plastic. And I'm really careful with them. There's a reason for that. They're very finicky. And I'm very uh, careful because I don't want to break them. But I can give you a look at the picture, side picture here. Okay. Look like that. The dot is off now. I can also turn the dot on. Let's see if I can see something. Whoop. Yeah, something like that. 
The dot is set up for 25 meters. Uh, I never used or tried even the iron side or the plastic sides because I think the more you open them and clap them down, the more they will likely they will break and I don't want them to break. It's an older firearm. Keep in mind, this is today 11 years old, this specific firearm model. Also, you have the Swiss cross here on the side. And there is no markings here from BMT2 in Switzerland because this is uh, not an US import gun. This is uh, made in Switzerland and bought in Switzerland. So no need for those marks. And the upper also has the serial number here. You have the Catini on the 9 and 3 o'clock and also on the 6 o'clock. And the barrel itself also is serialized. The serial number is somewhere somewhere here, but you can see it now because it's it's dark, okay? It's evening here. Okay, so for that, let's uh, put it back together and uh, let's see what else could interest you in this firearm. So we start with the receiver. Then I put my charging handle, handle on the left side and there's a reason for that. The reason is I use a breast catcher, which I can install here, just like that. It's also from BMT. Oh, it's difficult to do it on camera, but I think you get the point, right? And the idea is when you're shooting in a club or also in, in a shooting range, it will actually catch the breast it works flawlessly. And then at the end of your session, you don't need to discuss whose breast is it or to clean the floor because everything is captured. Let's uh, move that forward here. The next thing is the spring that needs to go here on the top. You just press it in carefully with your fingers because this is not sharp, but it's also not very nice if you uh, slap your thumb in it. The next part is the stock where you insert it from the from the well I really need to not look at the camera I need to look behind the camera and then you press it up just like that. And the next part is the lower receiver which just goes on like that and you can close the two pins. Keep in mind, on the APC series, it's easier to open first the front pin and then the, uh, the pin here on the bottom side of the firearm. It's much easier. This is what I found out. What else can I tell you about that? Well, there is a, a secret department here. Let's see if I can open that. Whoa. Here in the grip, there's a little department like that. You can open it. Mine is empty now. You can fit, uh, I don't know, maybe batteries for your uh, optic or a little bit of uh, oil, fire oil in a little bottle. Maybe you have some other ideas that you could put in here. And also, if you look at the BNT front grip, you can open the bottom part. This is uh, taking some time. And also here you could put your batteries or oil bottle, or I don't know what else you want to put in here. Mines are always empty because I oil my gun before I shoot them and after cleaning them and I'm coming back. I really like this stock because you have basically one button and if you hold the firearm in a vertical position, gravity, will come and just simply close it. And it's really nice to go on the range with your backpack uh, and then just the only thing you need to do is basically put it out, take your magazine, put it in and that's it. There is one more thing I want to show you. So the thing is the firearm, uh, the bottom here is for the release of the bolt. And you have here another button. If I press that with my middle finger and I bring the bolt back, it will 
leave the bolt open. Okay, and then I can press here the bolt release button to release it. Again, if you have an empty magazine and you shoot your last round or use the charging handle, it will stay in the back. So then you can remove your magazine and this button here is basically is only to release it. So thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, you can write me and I wish you a good evening. Bye everyone.